Back in the lobby, a dog having problems with his back legs waits for his appointment with Dr. James. My name's Ilana and I'm Sylvester's grandmother. About eight months ago, we noticed he was having problems coming out of the swimming pool. His um, back foot tended to buckle in and then after that he started dragging his leg a little bit. He has been having some problems with the mobility in his back legs for a number of months now. As with any old dog that has problems with his gait and the back legs, we first have to determine whether it's an orthopedic problem or whether it's a neurologic problem. If it's okay with you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Sylvester to the back with me and Dr. James and I are gonna examine him back there, okay? Absolutely. All right. Dr. James takes a closer look at Sylvester to help figure out what is causing his walking issue. That's actually pretty good, so his patellar reflex is good. He's also got a bit of um, atrophy back here as well. Some muscle wasting. Yeah. The signals are getting that are going to the back legs, from the brain to the back legs, and also from the back legs up to the brain, mm -hmm. to tell the brain where the legs are in space, aren't quite getting there as quickly as they should, which can often imply that there's an abnormality with the spinal cord in that area. After looking at him, I know that his problem is neurologic, but I'm not entirely sure what the problem is it could be a number of things, like a degenerative condition or a tumor or a disc. Once we determine if it's orthopedic or neurological, then the next step is to try and figure out what it is. There's a number of possibilities for what the cause of the problem could be, okay? okay? So it could be that he has a disc bulge or disc protrusion. Sometimes they can have a disease called degenerative myelopathy, whereby there's loss of the myelin that covers the, these long right. axons, and so the speed slows down, and so they slowly get wobbly in their back end. It's a little bit unusual in that if it was degenerative myelopathy, I might suspect his signs might be a little bit worse by this point in time, um, would have progressed a little bit faster than his signs. This can this condition is a condition that we, we can't do anything about. Uh, there are some drugs that may slow down the onset of signs, but it's a degenerative spinal cord condition that there's no surgery or anything for, okay? And last but not least, we have to have on our list some kind of tumor. I'm always concerned with an older dog that it could be a tumor. So because he's older, it, that always has to be on our list, unfortunately. So I have a number of theories as to what it could be. What I've suggested that we do is uh, take x-rays and also do an MRI of his back. And that will help us look to see whether there's any bulging discs, to see whether there's any evidence of soft tissue tumor. We're sort of beginning a process of investigation. Once we have that information, we're going to put it together with him and his clinical signs and what, what is right for you and your family and try and figure out what the right thing to do for him is. 